shit on my ear i mean oh wow all right so another little spooktacular attempt at an intro oh shit that was awesome all right. <laughs> oh shit oh oh good lord oh my god that was Breathing techniques. I was like, <laughs> ah, oh, yes, y'all. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to another Halloween episode. Of Before I forget, I am your your can't keep his shit together host, Francisco, for this fine evening. And um, today, today, what are we going to talk about? Well, I wanted to start a little conversation with you guys in the spirit of of a Halloween, Halloweeny kind of times of year, right? What are y'all's like? If you look back in time over the years, what are y'all's favorite, like three favorite or like top favorite, whatever um, costumes for Halloween? You know, um, what did you guys like look back and like it makes you guys smile? Say, hey, that was a kick-ass costume, or I remember this. You know, I'm about to share with you guys mine, and that is the point of this this week's little video. Uh, I want to share with you guys my top three. Uh, favorite uh, costumes over my lifetime that I've sort of done, the ones that sort of just stand out to me for their various reasons. And um, and yeah, y'all, it's like, what are y'all, guys? Comment below, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Shaggy Adventure. I want to know, guys. Let's, let's keep this conversation going, all right? But before we get to that, before we get to that, oof, my sinuses are still like adjusting after I laugh. Um, it is that time, y'all. It is a strain of the day. What's in your bowl? I'm gonna tell you guys what's in mine, or what's it been in mine. Uh, some lemon Kush. So before I go on about this, allbud.com is where I got all this information from. And a little bit of trivia for you about this lemon Kush. There are actually a couple varieties of this strain. It's one of my favorites. Um, I like to say it's a really good keep your shit together under under stressful times kind of strain. Um, doesn't hit you too hard, but just nice enough to sort of take the edge off life where you can just like you know continue on the situations at hand um now that being said y'all let's let's talk about a little bit more let's dive a little deeper into this into this strain shall we lemon kush lemon kush is a um in this case i'm going to use the combination of afghani kush and lemon g it's a 50 50 hybrid the flavor is going to be more citrus lemon spicy and sweet while the aroma is going to be more earthy herbal kush lemon and sweet the high, creative, energizing, euphoric, happy, uplifting, and relaxing. Um, it does help with a couple of medicinal um, uses as well. It helps treat bipolar disorder, chronic pain, uh, depression, headaches, insomnia, migraines, PTSD, and stress. The negatives tend to be the usual culprits, dry, uh, dry mouth, dry eyes, uh, dizziness, headaches, and paranoia. Now... Let's go on to Afghani Kush, parent number one, shall we? Afghani Kush is actually one of the most well-known land race strains in the world today. It comes from the Kush Mountains in Afghanistan. The flavor is um, known to be more herbal, piney, uh, spicy, and sweet, while the aroma is earthy, floral, pungent, and sweet. The high itself, it offers a really good body high uh, mixed with a little bit of euphoria, happiness, and sleepiness. The medicinal benefits, this too also helps out a lot, uh, a few good things. It helps treat ADD, ADHD, chronic pain, depression, insomnia, loss of appetite, migraines, PMS, and stress. Again, the negatives, usual culprits, dry mouth, dry eyes, dizziness, and headaches. Now, let's go on to lemon G, parent number two. This one is a 70-30 sativa hybrid. It is, uh, it's in flavors known to be more citrus, diesel, herbal, lemon, pine, and spicy, and sweet. While the aroma, short and simple. Is going to be lemon and, uh, and citrus. The the high, creative, energizing, euphoric, uh, focusing, happiness inducing would be sort of words about how best describe this one. The medicinal benefits, this again, along with the other two, sort of helps uh, with with a good few things. It helps treat chronic pain, depression, epilepsy, fatigue, gastrointestinal disorder, loss of appetite, migraines, nausea, PTSD, and stress. The negatives, same ones. 
dry mouth, dry eyes, dizziness, headaches, and paranoia. That being said, guys, Afghani Kush Lemon G create this wonderful old daytime, keep your shit together under stressful times kind of strain. Lemon Kush. So, it is time. Ready ye shit. You know, uh, pack your bowls, prep your dabs, light your J's. Let's get this show on the road. Such a good hit. The dry mouth is heavy in this one. Okay, you guys. So let me. Uh, <laughs> so yes, let's let's get the topic in hand, right? Top three favorite costumes of all time. So let's 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 spin back the years a little bit, <sighs> and um and let's go back to one one of those years when I was a kid. I don't exactly remember how old I was. I was pretty young, probably like 11, 12, maybe something like that. But I was pretty young, and I um I went as uh, the headless horseman. So with the help of my brother, he sort of came up with this cool little creative way of doing this. Um, I want to say maybe I was a little older, maybe like 13, 14, but I don't know. You probably know more than me on that one. Anywho, um, and we got a trench coat. It was like a trench coat, rain jacket, whatever you want to call it. And we got a, my mom's little embroidery, this circular embroidery wooden thing that she uses to, to embroider with. To create the little frame for my face, right? Because actually my face would come out between the buttons. And and my head itself was like completely covered. I think we either, we either used a, a beanie or something, and something else sort of like prop the, the jacket on top of my head so my hair wouldn't be seen. But yeah, we put. A, I mean, like it was a pretty creative little outfit, and um, we put that together. And that was actually one of my one of my one of my uh, favorite ones as a kid. It was just because um, it was mildly terrifying at the same time, just cool. One more little sip of water. All right, so now. Costume number two. Costume number two, I learned a couple little lessons from uh, in life. But before that, I want to take a little hit here because this was actually this was some funny little lessons I learned. What lesson would that be, right? Mind the fine print. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to share with you that. I'm going to share with you that little story. So what do I mean by minding the fine print, right? So when I was like 21 or 22, like something like 20 or 22, something around there, I decided to go as a lit match, and um, it was funny because you know if I if I smoked weed back then, as a, if I smoked weed back then, as much as I do now, it would be a little bit more of a punnier name. But yeah, I went as a lit match. So what did that entail? You know, I um I had a I just got went all beige, like all beige, um, and then back in the day, I look back at this is probably not one of my best decisions in life, but. Only two or twice, there's only been two times in my life I've ever dyed my hair, and it was both the same year, and I'll tell you why. I decided that year to actually decide uh, to go and do um, the frosted tips. Yes, I did the frosted tips. I thought it was, it was, it was like really cool to do, but then I look back at that, and I'm like, man, that's just tragic. <laughs> uh, but anywho, one valuable lesson learned there. Second one, you know, I was like, oh, well, you know, I had the perfect hair now, the dye and all that stuff, or whatever bleach or whatever the, the, whatever the hell they did in my hair. And um, to create that little flame look that I wanted to go with, right? So I confidently walked into the store, went to the hair dye section. Mind you, I never really dyed my hair. It's, um, you know, I got those tips done, but never dyed them on my own. So I'm like, okay. I was told that, uh, you know, hair dye is temporary. And so I'm like, looking at these boxes, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. I found this perfect, like, I think it was like a fire engine red, um, orange kind of combination. Anyways confidently went up to the cashier paid for it went back to wherever i was at put that in my hair it came out the way i wanted it to um and uh it came out the way i wanted it to just like that flame kind of look and it was cool the party was really cool um don't remember much about it but it was a fun time now the best part was the the the, the, the true lesson in life that i learned from all this was you know the next morning and the morning after that and like the week after that, come to realize that that dye was not exactly as temporary as I thought. And, uh, and yeah, I had flame like looking hair or like three, four different kind of colors, um, for my, uh, on top of my head, I sprouted a, fl a flame. <laughs> and, um, so to get around that, I decided instead of shaving my head, cause I've never shaved my head before. Uh, I was like, instead of doing that, I'm just going to dye my hair fire engine red. 
like fire engine red. And yeah, I got a picture about that lying around there somewhere. But yeah, I dyed my hair fire engine red and that was it. I mean, that was a, uh, let it grow out. I actually didn't mind it to be quite honest looking back at that part. Um, but yeah, um, shit finally outgrew itself. But uh, that was a, uh, I learned a lot of lessons in that costume. Simple and a good, and a good lesson learned. Read the fine print. Now, on the third one. The third one is sort of uh, my one of my favorite go-tos because I sort of feel like it's a little bit of my ethos as well. And it's just basically shaggy. Like, I mean, I just put on a, a green shirt, some beige pants, and people just look at me like, you look like shaggy. I'm like, yeah. So, you know, and it's like, and so we're just more like my, my little cartoon character spirit animal. Um, and, and yeah, so that was a simple one, but I also feel like it's a little bit of a part of me. So that's one of my, one of my favorite ones as well. So now going back to you guys what uh you know what are your favorite costumes again y'all like i want to know like what are your your little favorites looking back in time or one of the ones and are there ones that you like to keep using over the years you know let me know comment below subscribe to my channel uh follow me on instagram shaggy adventure and um or if you just hit me up on facebook you know just yeah i want to know this guys that's uh we're building up the halloween so let's share all this all right that being said i hope this finds you happy i hope this finds you well and most importantly Let's find you blessed. Until next time.